How's it going everybody? It's Talk Picks by Tim and in this video I wanted to talk about Voyager Digital and how we have recent news that Binance is planning on going forwards with buying their assets. So we're going to look at two articles here and we're also going to look at VGX because it has been pumping a bit although pulling back but just strange how it's moving considering everyone I know of has their funds locked up and can't do anything with it. I wonder who's moving it around. But let's get right into this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out the free links down below to some stocks and cryptos, and let's take a look. And this first article I'm looking at is coming out of Coindesk and it reads Binance US agrees to buy Voyager's assets for 1.02 billion. So according to Voyager Digital, Binance US has agreed to buy its assets for 1.022 billion. And this was just announced today, Monday. Now this bid represents the fair market value of Voyager's crypto, which has a current market value of around 1.02 billion, plus an additional consideration of 20 million in incremental value. Now, one thing that I find kind of strange about this here, we all know crypto can change in price quite quickly. And I know it's no one's belief that Bitcoin just right now is going to turn around, but what if it were to turn around? Would Binance be willing to put in a little extra money. That's just one thing that immediately in my eyes comes to mind. Maybe it doesn't make a difference. Maybe it just means that everyone that's owed something will get less of that money. There's just something kind of uh, making me curious here. Now, as we remember, FTX, Sam Bankman Fried, they had a plan on buying Voyager Digital for close to $1.5 billion. And of course, since then, crypto has dropped considerably. Now, looking over this a little deeper here, Binance.us will make a good faith deposit of 10 million and will reimburse Voyager for certain expenses up to 15 million. Now, Voyager will also seek approval of the bankruptcy court at a hearing January 5, 2023. So mark this date down. We're going to get some news after that. And then we can move forwards with a community vote. So I'm curious, how do you guys feel about this? Just going based on what was happening, it very much seemed like Binance was going to be the runner up. And now that FTX is no longer, looks like Binance will be taking over. But I'm curious, how do you feel about this? I know it's going to be still months from us getting any kind of money back, but luckily we are making some progress here. Next up, I want to look at another article here, and it has a very, very strange coincidence, you could call it, or maybe I'm crazy, maybe there's something wrong here, but just check this out. So I'll leave this link down below to this article, and it says Binance is not buying Voyager's crypto assets for $1.02 billion. Here's what's really happening. Well, basically... The main thing is it's basically saying that the final value will be set in the future and they say a better way to look at this deal may be by thinking about the 20 million to be sent from Binance as a purchase price for the right to acquire 3.5 million of Voyager's customers. Now once the funds get transferred then dispersed to clients, which won't happen until the bankruptcy court decides the prorated share that each account will receive, it'll be up to Binance to try to keep those customers. Now they go on to say that the structure of this deal is kind of similar to what Voyager and FTX had going on, which would have sent 51 million to Voyager in exchange for what at that time was 1.4 billion, and offering to acquire the assets for a $50 million fee essentially. Now Voyager took this offer, but of course FTX went under and that's not happening anymore. But what I find really, really um, just like a crazy coincidence, maybe I'm crazy, look at the two... Um, writers of this article we've got Stephen Ehrlich what the hell is going on here if you don't know just by me saying that name what a weird coincidence this is these are two different Stephen Ehrlich or Elrich whatever you want to say and he's in the Forbes staff the director of digital asset research at Forbes what a crazy coincidence that he has the exact same name as Voyager's CEO I just find this to be an insane coincidence and it just blows my mind that someone with the same name as Voyager's CEO can come and cover this article. I mean, what the hell are the chances? Well, I guess I stand corrected because it is Stefan Ehrlich, but come on, dang near the same first name. I mean, it just drives me insane. It just drives me insane. I don't know how that even happens. It seems like Binance.us is going to be acquiring Voyager's assets, therefore customers. We'll see if it sticks. But next up, let's look at the chart here because it was making some crazy moves. And just look at this huge spike we saw on this news. It's definitely pulling back now. We'll see if it gets another pop. I would keep an eye on this. And just seeing what it did last time, you could easily draw support here. If we break this support, we're probably coming down. If we bounce from it, we may push a new high. I personally don't know who the heck is moving this coin around because from what I understand, all, all of our assets are locked up. There may be some folks that can buy this on other exchanges still, but in terms of Voyager Digital, everything's locked up. I don't know who is manipulating this stock. And in reality, if this price pumps crazily, I don't think it really makes a difference. 
at least if Binance kind of goes along the same terms as FTX. FTX said that Voyager Digital's native token VGX here has no value now that Voyager is going under. So it's just kind of weird that this is, this is pumping. I personally see it as manipulation. I don't see why this would hype up because in reality, it's very likely that FTX and Binance will do the same thing in terms of not taking VGX on. Who knows? We might have some different ideas for Binance. They might decide to do something with VGX. I kind of doubt it, but I remain optimistic. But yeah, to me, this just seems like manipulation. We will see where this goes. I would expect that it just starts pulling back down to the 30 cents level. I hope to be wrong though. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you got some out of this. It's definitely nice to make some progress here with Voyager. Next up is the court approval and then a vote by us. And I will let you know when that happens. So make sure you stick around. Thanks as always, guys, and take it easy. Thank you.